Hello everyone, Miss G here. Today I'm going to show you how to resize an image. First of all, I get my images from Pixabay.com. These are royalty-free images, and you can use the images for whatever you want. And they really do have some great images. So I have already downloaded this particular image. So I'm going to go to my desktop by resizing or minimizing my window. So this is my picture of my lion right here and I'm going to show you the properties. I'm going to right click on this African lion. I'm going to, once you right click what will happen, it brings up a menu and what I'm going to do is go down to properties, click on properties right here and once I go to properties I'm going to click on the tab at the top, details and it gives me the dimensions 960 by 714 pixels and I'm going to say OK. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click on this line and I'm going to open this particular image with paint and everyone has paint on their computers. It's a free software that comes with your computer. So I'm clicking on paint and my lion will open in the software paint. So I hope you can see this. Uh, I don't want to make it too large so that you can't see it. And if you look right down in the bottom, it says 960 by 714 pixels. So what I'm going to do now is resize this image. I'm going to go to the image group right here and I'm going to resize command and I'm click on that where it says horizontal 100. I'm going to put this down to 50. And I'm going to click OK. And now my line has been resized. I'm going to say File, Save As, and I want to call it something different. I'm going to make sure it's on my desktop, and I'm going to call it Lion. And I'm going to erase everything else, just lying. And I'm making sure I'm saving it to my desktop so that I can find it. Now, you, if, if you're working on your computer at home, you want to save it to your documents folder. I'm going to save it here on my desktop. I'm going to X out of paint or close paint. This is my lion. Okay. Now, I'm going to slide it over right under my African line. It's the same lion. But I just want you to see the difference. You can see on the dimensions here, it's 480 by 357. Or I can right-click on it, go down to Properties, and I can go to Details, and I can see my dimensions have changed to 480 by 357. So it's 480 pixels by 357 pixels. I'm going to say OK. If I go back to my original African lion, I can see when I click on details, I can see that my pixels are 960 pixels by 714 or 960 by 714. So you see it has, cha it has changed. Now, another way to resize your images, and you can make them as small or as large as you want, is go to Pixlr. And that is right here. I'm not sure that you can see Pixlr.com. Um, but if you go to Pixlr.com, here we go, Pixlr.com. Let me just resize this so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, that, that probably is good enough. So you can see continue with Pixlr Editor. And then you have to say try Pixlr X. Now you're going to open the image. You open, you see I already opened it. And just click on your image and say open. And your image will show here. Once your image shows there, what you want to do is you want to click on your image. And then you're in the area. Let me just move this up here so you can see the bottom then you're in the area where you can save. Once you save it, you can see that you have image width 960. So say I want to make the image width 50, and my height will change. And I can say 
download, but before I say download, I want to call it something. I'm just going to call it my lion. Just so that you can see the difference. And I'm going to, and it's going to save as a JPEG. If you want it to save as a PNG, you just click on PNG. But I'm going to save it as a JPEG. I'm downloading. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this window. And should have downloaded to uh, my documents folder. So we'll see. I mean my, uh, not my documents, but download folder. And here's my lion. I'm going to drag it to my desktop. Okay, so this one's my lion. This is the third one that I've done. I'm going to double click on it so you see it's the same exact picture. Okay, and I'm going to right click on my lion. You can see the name my lion right here. I'm going to right click on it, go down to properties. I'm going to details, and you see it's 50 by 37. So it's 50 pixels by 37 pixels. This one is different. This one, if you click on details, is 480 by 357 pixels. And then the next one is the original one. And I'm clicking on details. It's 960 by 714 pixels. So you can see how easy it is to resize a, an image. So I hope that clears up things about how to resize an image you can make it as as small as you want sometimes making uh images larger they will get pixelated which will it means that you'll have those little dots in it so once you uh, receive an image you want the person who's making the image to make it as big as possible because you can always resize it all right, I'll see you in the next lesson, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the comment section below. I'll see you all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.